Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rechakwadash, the honor to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well. And salutation, much love to Yaakim out there pushing out his word in truth and sincerity. This is the brother Ash, Tampa, GMS Tampa, coming back with another video, Lord, so it's edifying to the hopeful elect out there. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to go into a quick topic, you know, <clears throat> about, you know, not trust, tr well, trusting in Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, first and foremost, but not trusting your enemy, as the scriptures say, because, you know, soon they're going to, it's going to be, it's, well, they're already doing it, censorship, you know, fact, fact checkers, uh, fake news, all this, you know, bullshit that Esau throws out there to confuse the masses. All right. And it's going to come a time where you're going to have to ch make a choice. Whether you tr trust in your Habba Shimei Al Shai or you trust in, 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 in man or Esau Edom in this case, because he's going to present the problem and then he's going to have the solution. But it's all it's all bullshit. So it's, it's a snare at the end of the day. So let's start in Psalms 118 and uh, verse 8. Did you guys remember this guy is the wicked? All right. This is Psalms 118 and 8. It is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in man. All right, so you don't, you can't have confidence in this devil, man. And a lot of our people do, you know, they trust in, in, in oppression. All right, they woe to you that go to Egypt for help. You're gonna go to the devil. You go, the one that created it, the one that put you in slavery and created the creates the the problems. You're gonna go to him for the solution. It's mad madness, but again, it's better to trust in your how about Shimei Al Shai. It says it is better to trust in Yahweh than to put confidence in princes. Okay, so let's read. Matter of fact, let's read that in the NLT. See how they phrase it. Um, Psalms one eighteen, verse eight. It says it is better to take refuge in Yahweh than to trust in people. <laughs> there you go, man. You can't trust these. You can't trust these people out here, man. You can't trust Esau Edom. Hell, you can't even, you're not going to, it's going to come a time where you're not going to be able to trust your family. All right. The scriptures say, them in your own household shall be your foes. But you have to trust in your how about Shimei Shai, man. Point blank, period. Don't trust in what these people going to tell you because they'll try to take you away from the truth. They'll try to convince you to go trust in, in Esau Edom. Just like you people trusted it. Yeah, you can't trust your government, man. You think your government cares about you? Really? If you still believe in that, then you you you're not living in reality. Look at look at the people that trusted in the government or Esau when they took the jump shot. That yeah, they, oh they were scared. Oh my God. Oh. When they trusted and they trusted in what they were hearing on the news, they trusted in the oh we have the solution here it is. And now look at them dropping dead like flies. But let's go to um, the book of Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. Verse tw or chapter 12 Start at verse 10 it says never trust thine enemy So you never trust this devil Alright here it is he put us in slavery N Never freed us Alright we're still here to this day In captivity Slaving away Making him millions and millions While your ass is living paycheck to paycheck Here it is that he He, he, he uh, uh, you know, Made up a whole scenario a global scenario to, to get you to take this take the jump shot and now look at him now look at those people having dying suddenly it says though he also like for like as iron rust is so is his wickedness so this devil he never changed he never uh he, he don't love you okay it's just in his dna to hate you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and you still want to be on board with this guy, then hey, you're gonna get what you deserve. You're gonna go, you're gonna die with him. All right. It's in verse eleven. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yeah, you know, just like they, they get up there on the TV, say you don't need to die. Just take the, the just take the juice. You know, oh yeah, we, you know we're fighting for Americans, but they're sending billions. All right, billions to Ukraine. And where's that money going? Well, they, they, it ain't going to the, it ain't going, it's going into the pockets all right, of these Edomites, man. The millionaire, or the, you know, the the rich ones, man. Them, them people over there, they're still getting, you know, getting destroyed out there. 
all that billions of dollars where that shit going man here it is that you could instead of sending a bit uh, what was it two, two two like two billion dollars to ukraine they could have gave everybody in america one million dollars and still and that would have <coughs> only been like close to 400 million dollars and it still have a uh, uh, 1.7 1.8 billion left you know of the 2.2 i believe it was that they send over to ukraine but you're going to trust this devil because he sent you a stimulus check for $1,400. dollars <laughs> A thousand bucks. Come on, man. It says, and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away. Yeah, dude, this nigga don't change. Just because he gets fancy and, and sets up little donations for you. So it gives you some food stamps. He's still wicked. Because what you know, those food stamps, that's a trap too. That wick. There's only certain things you can buy, that government cheese. You know, you know, it's all poison anyway. And and it's to divide the family, separate the household, okay, take the father out of there. See, so there's always an agenda with this devil. And it's gonna get into it. It says, uh, sit him not by thee, lest when he hath overthrown thee stand in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last, remember my words and be pricked th therewith. S say, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild, wild beast? Yeah, so no one's going to feel, no, no one's, we're not going to feel sorry for you if you trust in this devil. I don't feel sorry for anybody that took that jump shot. You're going to, you get what you deserve. You trusted him and the devil. Well, well you, you want us to pity you now? You literally got bit by the serpent. Because Esau Edom, he's also known as the serpent. That old serpent, the dragon. All right? The beast. You got bit. You got got. And he's going to turn it up even more when this, with this karagma, the mark of the beast. All right? Here it is. He's going to paint a picture of convenience and safety and all of this bullshit. But really, it's a it's an ulterior motive. Verse 14, so one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him and his sins, who will pity? 15, for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall, he will not tarry. And that's what this devil does, man. He pretends to, you know, you know he'll, he'll stick around, but as soon as you're useless to him, he'll, he'll throw you away like toilet paper. Verse 16, an enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips. And again, this is, this is the, the so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man. He speaks real smoothly. Yeah, we love black people. We love marching in the streets with them. Black lives matter. Hands up, don't shoot. But at the, the dinner table, they talking shit about niggas. And spicks. And like we had an Edomite come out to camp last week talking about he loved us. Man, get the f we told him to kick rocks. You know, we know damn well you don't love us. You know? And we've and we we we've come to the, the... We already got to the realization that this devil cannot be trusted. I would, you, I would, you, you can't trust him. I wouldn't trust him as far as you can throw him. Not even. His enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Yeah, he's, he's talking real smooth with you, buddy, buddy. And in his mind, he's thinking, how am I going to get this nigga? Or this, this Tonto or Speck. How am I going to get him? What can I get out of him? Using him. Using him, abuse him. That's just it's just in their nature. They're they're the wicked. All right. The Lord made them to be evil. They can't change their ways, man. And they all they all day long they think about is wickedness, man. How to get one over you on you. He said he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Yeah, he going he going to say, "Oh, <laughs> feel uh, pretend to be symp sympathetic or empathetic." And then as soon as he get, as soon as he got that little wiggle room or the crack in the door, he, he's going in. He's going to take that opportunity because he's already been plotting it, <laughs> you know, while he was being buddy, buddy with you. And then swoop, once opportunity presents itself, he's in there. Verse 17, if adversary come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. Yep. It was the adversity that came in the last recent years. The C19. And he was here. It was there quick. Here we go. Started pumping out that that, that jump shot. The fastest uh, vagination ever 
to be uh, formulated in the history of, of, of this modern science. No testing, no trial runs, nothing. He was there. Captain Sabaho was on scene. <laughs> but now we see the, the outcome of that. It says, and though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. So he's trying to overthrow you at the end of the day. He pretending he's not really helping you. He sh he will shake his hand and clap his hands and whisper much and change his countenance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There's another one. If he helped thee. Um, how's it go? Help. Uh, damn, how's it go? It's like if he helped thee. I think it's in a. Or Ecclesiastic as hell. Uh, let's see if we can find it real quick. He, he do it. It's pretty much like he do it unwillingly. So I, I can't remember how it uh, how it goes. But um, let me let me let me see something. All right. It's a. Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus fourteen and seven. Uh, I'll start at uh, I'll start at five. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? Yeah, and this devil, he's evil to his own people. He hell, he pollutes the air that he has. He pollutes the air to kill niggas and everybody else. That he, the same air he got to breathe. He said he shall not take pleasure in his goods. There is none worse than he that envieth himself, and this is a recompense of his wickedness. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly. And at the last, he will declare his wickedness. So when this devil actually does help you, he's doing it unwillingly anyway. Because ultimately, he got an agenda. That's why he's there first when the adversity comes. He, he's right there. Boom, on scene. Got the solution. That's like me setting your house on fire and then coming to help you put it, put the, put the water, you know, pour water on it. I'm going to help you put the fire out that I started. And then, you oh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. That's a snake for you. That's the Esau Edom. Okay. And remember, he's a cunning hunter. He knows how to, you know, that's all he thinks about, man. How to f be a f be a phony, a f put on a facade, so that he can get what he what he's he's hunting. You know, that's why this nigga sits in the trees, smelling like deer piss for 50, five hours, till the deer comes through the woods, and you know. But. Those that trust in your Habashim Arshai are going to be the ones delivered from the hand of the wicked. And that's the only way you're going to be able to get escape what's coming. Because this devil's about to go all out. He's going to show his horns. He's not pretending to help you anymore. He's going to show you the devil that he is. Full-fledged devil mode. So we'll end off on a few more here. Psalms 5 and 11. It says, I'll uh, start at 10. It says, destroy thou them, O yeah, how about Shemal Shai? Let them fall by their own counsels. Yeah, and that's what Esau's laying a snare, but he's going to fall into it. All right, he's going to get snared in his own trap. It says, cast them out in the multitude of their transgressions, for they have rebelled against thee, and, and our people are going to fall into that snare with them. All right, those that want to be joined hand in hand, well, guess what? The wicked shall not go and punish. So the Esau eat him, no matter how much you love master, he's still going to get punished, and you're going to be punished with him for... Um, rebelling against Yahweh Shai, which is a sin of witchcraft, which is worthy of death. All right, verse eleven. But let all those that put their trust in Thee rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because Thou defendest them. Let them also that love Thy name be joyful in Thee. So the ones that put their trust in Yahweh Shai will rejoice, because the Lord is going to defend us. All right, in that day of evil. All right, in these times of evil, uh, time of Jacob's trouble that we're going to have to go through to enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Shai, the Lord will protect those that trust in him and not and not go to Egypt for help. For for thou, Yahweh, will bless the righteous with favor, wilt thou compass him as with the shield. So the Lord got us. He's our defense. We're not we're not going to go to eat the devil after we know, you know, all this the wickedness that he does. How are we going to go to him for help? That don't even make sense. Um, so we'll end off on this uh, Psalms 56 and 11 says in, in the most high have I put my trust I will not be afraid what can what man can do unto me there we go what you gonna do boy you can't do nothing unto us we're not afraid of what Esau Edom or any 
of our wicked ass people can do to us. We're not afraid of that. We trust in your how about shimmy outside. We know we can be delivered from anything. Through through your how about shimmy outside, all things are possible. So Lord's willing, this was edifying and exhorting to the hopeful elect out there. Shalom.